Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out a new, at least for me it's a new makeup brand and it's called Rude Cosmetics and they did send me all these products. They reached out to me and said hey do you want to try a couple of products? So I said yes I do want to try a couple of products because I have never heard of this brand before and neither had any of my friends so I am really excited to dig into these products and see what they're all about there isn't a lot of information about this brand they were started in 2016 and they are local they are based in los angeles which i think is great and they claim that all of their products are cruelty free i have not have already not seen a lot of information about this it doesn't say anything on their about page on their website about them being cruelty free but all their products are marked as cruelty free which i think is great it doesn't seem like they are vegan but at least they're cruelty free and i think that's a great step towards making better and products so i picked out 10 products and i'm gonna be trying to do a full face of makeup using only rude cosmetics products if you guys want to check out rude cosmetics i am gonna leave a link to their website down below as well as their instagram they have some super cool photos on their instagram so i would definitely recommend you guys go and follow them and yeah let's get started with the video I zoomed you guys in so you can see a little bit better. I have washed and moisturized my face, but that's it. I am gonna dig into my root box and I'm gonna show you packaging the product and then I'm gonna apply it and we'll see how it goes. So I did not get a primer, so I just went in with my pores no more from Dr. Brand to cover up some of my pores. And now I am gonna start with the double trouble trouble foundation and concealer i think this was the only foundation that they had and i have the shade linen honestly it was really hard to pick a shade online because they kind of only showed you the um packaging of the concealer there wasn't an actual shade swatch so i really hope that this matches my skin it looks pretty good it is very thick i usually go for a lighter foundation so i don't hope that it's not too thick but it said that it's a foundation and concealer so we will see but i think this is a pretty good color match thank god i really hope that they put out the shades in the future so you can see a little bit better what you are getting I think this was a pretty good match for me you know when you order or try to order foundation online it's really hard to color match because I feel like all their images usually are so much different from what the shade actually is but for ones I seem to have picked the right shade so i do feel that the foundation is really like thick it covers pretty well but i'm just not used to using thick formulas i'm not hating the way that it looks or feels even though it was kind of a thick formula i like how it looks but it does seem to kind of attached to some of my dry spots i can still see some of my smaller breakouts coming through and it doesn't really cover redness i just wish that it would cover a little bit more considering how much product i had to use and the thickness of the foundation but overall it's a great color match it looks good on my skin that, that doesn't have any breakouts. I also got the Reflex Waterproof Concealer. This is what the packaging looks like. And I got the shade Ivory. And it is a waterproof concealer. It has a brush applicator. 
available in 14 shades so this is what this one looks like it has this brush applicator and you kind of push it and product comes out so I'm just gonna go in it's a little bit pinkish I wish that it was more um, yellow and it is very um, like creamy like I only gave it a little squeeze and a lot came out it's very like runny if you compare it to the foundation wow that looks so bright in the camera buff this out with the beauty blender I do really like it but it's very very bright and I think I used way too much product I definitely went in with way too much product on this one in camera it looks probably looks a lot brighter than it does in real life the studio finishing mineral powder to set my eyes so this is what that looks like it seems like it is a it says translucent but it's very white so hopefully it won't stay on for too long it comes with this little puff I'm not gonna use the puff I am gonna use this real techniques brush instead I'm just gonna put some underneath my eyes I am gonna go and do the contouring next so for that I got the audacious contour palette this is what it looks like on the back you have the shades this is what the palette looks like. I feel like this is like a NYX, um, more like Morphe palette, very similar. So this is supposed to be the contour palette. I feel like the shades look a lot cooler online. That's why I picked this palette. And if you look at all of the shades, at the bottom they look super warm I don't know how I feel about this because I use cooler shades to contour my face and I use warmer shades to bronze I feel like this one in the middle right here it is like a metallic orange eyeshadow palette eyeshadow color so I wouldn't say that this is a great contouring palette I haven't tried it obviously but I would use this one as a eyeshadow so I don't know I'm gonna go in with this one because that is the coolest of them all in this palette and we'll, we'll just see what happens it seems to be pretty pigmented very pigmented actually I'm just gonna try and blend this out that worked out pretty well so I'm actually gonna go in with the same shade and kind of just go in right lightly up here my hairline and bronze it out a little bit I mean their pigmentation is great they just need to work on the shades because if I saw this in the store I would never have bought this and I would not have thought of this to be a contour palette so as you guys can see top three are kind of the lighter shades this one just looks straight up like a highlighter this one looks like a metallic eyeshadow this one is super warm and very orangey and this is the only one that I have used. Um, I feel like it could be a little bit cooler but it works fine. But yeah, as I said, if I saw this in store, I would not pick this up because of the shades. But pigmentation is amazing. It's great. It's super blendable. It's very pigmented so you need like the smallest amount to work with. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, it's great. It just... I don't do warm contour, I do cooler contour for my face, but if you do like the warmer contouring thing, this might be the palette for you. Eyebrows. So I got the eyebrow pen, it says Outrageous. This is the shade of black brown, I do have very dark eyebrow hairs. So hopefully this one is a dark cool shade, because if there's any kind of reds in it, I do not work with that. So this is what it looks like. Got a spoolie on one end and then you got the pen that seems to have been falling out. I have been very lazy with my eyebrows. I haven't gotten them professionally done in a while. I've just been trimming them myself at home. I do really like it. The only problem is that it keeps falling out. I don't know why. 
it's not super creamy so in a sense it looks a lot more natural when you're working with it and it kind of fills out spare spaces really well and I like my eyebrows to look more natural than like I've dipped them in pomade next up I did get this eyeshadow palette it's huge so it is a 28 shade eyeshadow palette this is the one in Leo matte it has a lot of warm colors which I love to wear on my eyes and this is what it looks like it looks a lot like the Morphe one it just has a lot more text and um, information on it which I do like. It says it is cruelty free, all of that stuff. It has this little plastic cover on it and these are the shades that comes in it. I'm gonna do a more like nude-ish natural smoky eye today. So let's try these out. Going in with a lighter brown shade. Pigmentation on these are great as well and they blend seamlessly. I love it. And then I'm going to go in with a small brush and do a little bit darker brownish. These eyeshadows are actually amazing. They blend so nicely. Now I can already see the concealer kind of creasing, um, which is no bueno. I'm going to go and try and kind of address the situation that they don't really help at all but yeah the concealer are creasing a little bit underneath of my eyes into my fine wrinkles which is a little bit annoying but maybe this concealer isn't great maybe it wants the baking powder I'm not sure and it's only been about 20 minutes or so since I put it on so just a couple more products to use so I got the Police Eyeliner Up Eyeliner Pencil in Bell Bond, which is the black shade. This is what it looks like. It has a fine tip and it is very black as you guys can see. Let's see if I'll mess this up or not because I'm not great at doing eyeliners. Okay, I'm not mad about it. I tried doing the wings, wings similar. I think I messed up a little bit, but they look kind of the same, so it's fine. I'll work with it. Now I am gonna try their obnoxious volume mascara. This is what that one looks like. It doesn't say shade, but it's black. I think they only have one, to be honest, and this is what it looks like. And then it has a pretty big brush but yeah I'm gonna try it out I have lost almost all of my fake eyelashes so I can use mascara again all right there are no lumps and it is it's definitely giving a length to my eyelashes but it's not really giving any volume like it looks like I have longer lashes and that's it I am gonna use this shade this shade from the contour palette to highlight my face so I'm gonna take the lightest one here and highlight my face That one definitely did the trick. Oh my god, that's a lot. But super pigmented. I also got the blush palette. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush on my cheeks. The blush palette, it looks exactly like the contour palette, but it says blush palette on it instead of contour. And this is what the blush palette looks like. As you can see, we got six shades 
um, some peaches, some pinks, some more highlighty ones. I am gonna go in with one of the lighter ones, this one down here on my cheeks. This Marc Jacobs blush brush, and I'm gonna go in very lightly because I feel like it's a lot of pigment in these, too. Okay, not as pigmented as I thought it would be. So you need to pick up a little bit more product with the blush, which I'm fine with because I don't want to get any surprises when I'm using blush. You know, when you take the smallest amount and you just look like a clown, I don't want that to happen. I really like this shade. It's really nice on my skin. And as you can see, it has like this darker shade right here, which I feel like is very similar to, very similar to the contour shade that I used. If you guys can see right here. Those two, the one in the middle and the one in the corner right there, they are pretty similar. So maybe I actually didn't really need this palette, but whatever. Okay, and I got one more last thing, and it is one of their lip crayons. I mean, what is makeup without lips? Lips is like one of those things where I'm very, very, very picky about my products because I do have dry lips, and I want to make sure that it looks good stays on for a long time and that my lips doesn't get drier or look dry so i got this nude shade and this is what it looks like and i did not get a lip pencil or anything like that because it's a lip pen so i feel like it'll work fine anyways i only did my under lips look how big my lips looks just from putting that on and just evening evening out my lip line that is absolutely crazy and there we go this is my full face wearing rude cosmetics products and i feel like it looks pretty great actually i'm really surprised i do like all the products they don't really smell anything funky or too strong so i do appreciate that so i'm gonna talk about all the products i'm gonna do the good and the bad about every product so i'm gonna start with the double trouble foundation and concealer i feel like it's a very thick formula and it says it's a foundation and concealer in one so you can use it for both I personally like a lighter concealer and a normal shade foundation, so I would probably not buy a foundation concealer in one. I would rather buy a foundation and a concealer. It was really hard to color match on their website because this packaging right here is literally their images online. And thank god that I got a shade that actually matched me. Concealer, it says it's a waterproof concealer. I don't know because I haven't tried that out, but I, I'm, I'm not in love with the applicator and it gets really kind of messy and disgusting and it's a very liquidy formula so I felt like it was very easy to t put on too much products, which I feel like I did and it looked so so bright on me. I noticed that it started creasing very fast. After about 20 minutes I saw it going into like my fine lines so not not a big fan of it to be honest the contour palette which i don't know if i would really call this a contour palette it has a couple of highlighters up here brightening highlighter two orange shades which i don't i don't um they are just way too orange for me to be honest i would use these as eyeshadows and one of them is very metallic orangey and i don't ever i don't I have never seen a contour shade so orange. It's copper orange, basically. Um, so honestly, the only shade that I felt like I could use for contouring was this one. And then I used this one for highlighting. And they are super pigmented, super blendable, so that's always a plus. I just think that Rude needs to work on their colors a bit more or come out with wider range for people that are lighter or darker in skin tone because they only have this one next is the mineral powder i don't really know what to say about it i still feel like i got like the setting that i wanted it to give me this is a translucent finishing powder 
so I feel like I should be able to bake with it and I tried and it kind of just flew everywhere it doesn't really sit on my face and my concealer did start creasing so I don't know if this contributed to it if it was caused to it or if it just simply didn't help at all to make sure that it would increase but I am not a huge fan of this powder to be honest so the blush palette however I love it it has so many different ranges of shades so that I can use it my friends can use it and it seems like you can actually remove these pans out of the packaging um, I did use this one which is a very lighter one I do I would also use the peach one right here and these are obviously for people that have a little bit darker skin so I think this has a very good range of different shades if you want to get a good blush palette that isn't too expensive this would be a great option so I think they get it did really well on the blush palette eyebrow pencil which I really really liked the only downside was that the eyebrow stick it seemed to have kind of fallen out of the packaging a little bit I don't know if it's when it was shipped it got shaky and it kind of just fell out and got loose but overall this is amazing I love how it applies it's not too creamy so it's very easy to blend it and it's super easy to build up to blend and to just make it look more natural than you're drawing on your eyebrows if that makes sense so yeah I really really like it the mascara says obnoxious volume mascara I wouldn't say that it gives me a ton of volume it did make my eyelashes look longer it does not give you any lumps on your eyelashes so I appreciate that but it doesn't have that wow volume factor to make your eyelashes longer without clumps yes to give it volume no it's just easy to maneuver the pencil and it's one of those things with eyeliner I feel like some eyeliners are just hard to use because of the way that the pen is shaped or how long the pen is or like how it releases the fluid or whatever but this one was really easy to use I do appreciate how simple it was to make a wing and I put on eyeliner with this pencil so for that I would probably recommend this the eyeshadow palette now as I said it reminds me a lot of a morphe palette it has the same exact same packaging same shape same size same amount of eyeshadows it looks exactly the same and I mean the pigments are great the colors are really nice I do wish that maybe they would have some more lighter colors in here because I feel like this one is a pinkish light I would like a more inner corner eye light as well because they have a lot of dark shades they have a lot of bright shades this is the warm color palette so which is right up my alley but I feel like they should maybe have less of some of these browns and more light because they have very few light shades um, I do like the color ones they are very bright very colorful so they did a good job on those and they are super pigmented very blendable so I do really like the eyeshadows and then lastly we have the matte matte magnificent lip crayon and I do really like it it is a matte lip crayon but it feels moisturizing on my lips so I really like it I did not use a lip liner or anything it was super easy to apply it's retractable you can use this for a while and I love the shade it applies really easily and it looks great on my lips all right you guys that was my little review first impression and try on of Rude Cosmetics which is a new brand for me and hopefully a new brand for you as well as I said before I will link all of Rude Cosmetics information down below so you guys can go check them out look at their products they have a lot of other things as well besides from these products that I picked out they have a lot of glitter dusts they have some skincare products and I really want to try out more stuff from them there these are definitely some hits and misses but that's how it is with a lot of brands they are really new so I do applaud them for you know trying and hopefully they will improve as time goes they will come out with more shades or more products and yeah 
I was actually really excited about doing this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And leave a comment down below if you have ever tried their products or if there's anything that you want to try from them. I would love to know your guys' opinions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Do you guys see how it's already creasing in my eyes? My eyelashes doesn't really have that volume volume that I wish it had. And I am so annoyed by the fact that all these dry spots are there. Bye!